What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Danielle. Hey, what's up? You can subscribe down below. I haven't filmed a sit-down video like this in a while, so this is kind of fun. I love just sitting down and talking to you guys. It's a fun pastime of mine. Um, so if you are new here, I just graduated from the University of Georgia. I live in Tampa, Florida. I'm here right now, home for the summer, and I'm going to be moving to New York City, the Big Apple, Concrete Jungle, this August. I will be doing full-time content creation, which is so crazy. I've always also been a student, so this is a really crazy feeling for me, um, but I'm really excited to see where it goes. I have a podcast also called Gals on the Go Podcast with my best friend, Brooke Michio. She actually already lives in the city. So we wanna start doing video versions of our podcast. We upload new episodes every Wednesday and it's about just life being a gal on the go. We have different themes each week. We have awesome guests on too, but we see a lot for the Gals on the Go brand as a whole and for us to be in the same city will really add to that. So I'm really excited about that. I'm just kind of seeing how everything goes, but for now we're headed there, full-time content creator, really weird to say and for me, I've always also been a student, which is really cool, but I've never had unlimited time, if you will, to kind of pursue my passions and follow my dreams. There have just been things that I've wanted to do with my channel and other projects that I've had in mind that I didn't want to give a ton of attention to yet until I could give my full attention to it. So I'm just going to give myself this chance. That's what we're going to do. I'm moving to New York City. And with that, you guys have a lot of questions, which makes complete sense. So I went to New York last month with my boyfriend. My boyfriend just got a job in New York too. So he will be there and I am beyond thankful because long distance is not my bestie, nor is it anybody's. But um, on that trip, I vlogged and you guys had a lot of questions and I just knew they'd build up. Like, where are you moving? Where are you thinking? How's that process going? Just all of the above. So I went on my Instagram and I did a little story. I asked you guys to ask me your questions that you have about moving to New York. I actually did a poll. I said, do you guys want a life Q&A or a moving to New York Q&A and New York won. It was close though. So I'll probably also do a life Q&A for those of you that voted for that. <laughs> I'm really excited. Let's do it. First question. What kind of apartment are you looking for? So this is actually a good question to kind of start off on. I'm glad you asked. I'm looking to live in an apartment building preferably with a doorman, um, a mail room because I'm getting a lot of packages constantly and if I'm not home I'd rather it not just be kind of out in front of my door I'd rather be able to go pick it up. Amenities would be cool but I'm not like it has to have a gym because I'm more of a workout class kind of person anyways. Um, a rooftop would be really nice. In general I'm looking for a, I think they call them luxury buildings. Um, and there's a good amount of them in New York. It's just similar to where I lived in Athens. I lived in a building that just had all the amenities and yes, it's a little bit more expensive, but for me, it's so worth it because I just, I'm gonna be living alone. I'm gonna feel safer, more secure, and it's just nice to have those amenities. So that's kind of what I'm looking for. And there's a lot of them, there's not a ton. And then as for the actual unit itself, I know that there's gonna be things that I'm gonna have to be okay with compromising. I'm not gonna get absolutely everything on my checklist. And I know that. Um, but a couple of things that are on the top of my list, I would love a washer and dryer in my unit. Um, it's not the worst thing in the world, if it's just in the building, but I just, I hate doing laundry as it, as it is, so it would be nice to have it in my room or my in my unit. Um, I want big windows or if anything, just really good lighting and usually big windows equal good lighting because as you guys know, I film a lot. I film a lot in my apartment. I'll be taking photos and it's just, and it just makes me happier just to have a brighter space. So that's gonna be a big one. If I tour an apartment and I walk in and it's dark, like it's just immediately no. Um, I got really lucky in Athens. We had great lighting in our apartment. Um, I like a more modern look. I love exposed brick and I love the charm of some of the apartments in New York City. But for me, I do like kind of more of a chic, sleek, um, modern take. Um, I'm not gonna get super picky, but there's a couple things that I'm kind of looking for. Preferably an updated kitchen. I know it's like, okay, Danielle, you're not gonna get all these things, but these are the things I am looking for. Um, I'm doing a one bedroom. I guess I didn't say that. I'm open to a studio if it's like a really big studio and I could split it up but I've found a lot of options for one bedroom, so I don't think that's gonna be an issue. Is finding an apartment as difficult as people make it seem? So excited for you. I'm so excited too. Finding an apartment is really hard, and it's gotten harder as the months have gone because if you guys aren't aware, because I wasn't really aware of this until the last year or so in New York, like you do not look for an apartment that you are ready to live into until like three to four weeks out from your move-in date which is mind boggling because 
at UGA, I would know where I was living. So let's say it's August 2018. I knew where I was living August 2019. Like you put your deposit down, you know where you're living the next year. I don't know why that's just how it goes. I think that's how it goes in a lot of college towns. And then I have some friends that moved to like Charlotte and Nashville and they got their apartments months in advance. But like in New York, so many people are looking for it that it's like, if you don't choose it right then and there, someone's gonna take it the next day. So it's just like, I've been looking the last few months just to get an idea and see how the market's flowing. I, I, I can't look at specific units right now. I've just been looking at buildings that I'm interested in and looking at their layouts and their amenities and where they're located so that when the time comes, I can, if I like that building, I can be like, okay, I'm ready to move in three weeks. What do you have right now? Which is terrifying because it's just like freaking me out and making me anxious because who knows what's gonna be available when I'm ready to move. And I guess like, I don't have a hard date that I have to move, but I'd like to be there in August. So I'm thinking I'm gonna move early, mid August, depending on absolutely everything. So a month ago when I was looking, there were so many units. And then yesterday when I was looking at the same buildings, I got very discouraged because a lot of those buildings either have like one left or nothing. But that's not to say in a month, someone could put theirs up, it's just, it's terrifying. I do plan to go to New York in July with my mom and we're gonna tour the crap out of some apartments. Like we're gonna have them booked, we're gonna be booked and busy. Someone said, who will you be living with? Um, I guess I didn't answer that. So yeah, I'm living alone. If you couldn't tell, I toyed with the idea of having a roommate. I have a ton of friends moving to New York, which I'm so excited about. Like some of my best friends from high school are gonna be moving there, best friends from college, best friends from sleepaway camp. Like I am set up. I am so beyond thankful. It's gonna make the transition a lot easier. So I will be living alone. We'll see how that goes. But I lived alone sophomore year of college and it was really easy because I was able to have my alone time, but then I'd step outside and I could just go hang out with friends whenever I wanted. And I'm the type of person, like if I'm feeling lonely, I sense it and I like do something about it. I'm not just gonna sit there and be like, I'm lonely, I'm gonna call someone and go do something. So you definitely have to be proactive, but I have that personality. Um, and then I also have a boyfriend, so I feel like it'll be nice because like, he has, he's either gonna have one roommate or he's gonna have three roommates. I think he's gonna end up living with three other guys, which will be so fun for him. But then it'll be nice, like if we just want like alone time, he can come to my apartment. So. Someone else asks, are you and Ryan going to agree to live in the same area? Yeah, so when we went, we both kind of realized we both wanna be downtown. Um, so that's West Village, that's Lower East Side, that's East Village, that's NoHo, that's even SoHo. Bowery, that whole area is where I'm looking and that's where Ryan's looking as well. So it's kind of an agreed thing. Like hopefully we'll be able to be walking distance. I don't think we'll be any more than 20 minutes walking from each other. He doesn't have his place yet. I don't have my place yet. Another reason I really wanna be in the Lower East Side, East Village areas because Brooke lives over there and we are gonna be recording Gals on the Go, our podcast from either her apartment or mine. Um, so it'd be nice to be walking distance and if we just like, and we're like best friends. So it'd be nice either way. What do you want to be close to? Subways, bars, certain restaurants. I would love to be near a grocery store. A Trader Joe's, Whole Foods, Target, just something like that where, cause I, cause I just feel like I'm gonna do more frequent grocery shopping when I'm there rather than like one big one just because you're walking. So it'd be nice though to live near one so that, oh, like I wanna make chicken piccata tonight. I can just walk to Trader Joe's and go buy the ingredients. I think that'd be a really fun lifestyle. How long do you think you'll be in New York for? I have no idea. I'm not giving myself a timeline. What have I been telling people? I've been telling people three to four years. That's kind of how I see it going. And then when I'm ready to kind of oh, settle down, um, I think I kind of want to move back down south. I mean, it depends on everything. Um, I love, I would literally come back to Tampa. I love Atlanta. I love Dallas, Texas, really randomly enough. Um, Charlotte, North Carolina, I love those places. I love New York City. Maybe I'll end up there longer, who knows? Um, but I feel like at least three years, three to four years. It's so weird how my mind changes. Though. Like I used to think I wanted to raise a family in New York City and now I'm like, definitely not. But I mean, you never know. I'm kind of just leaving it open to the possibilities. I really would love to get more involved in the fashion industry. That's another reason I really want to move there. And that was also my major. Ooh, I like this question. I love it. Just the logistics. I'm such a logistics girl. How are you moving your stuff there? Driving a U-Haul or flying with a few suitcases? Great question. So thankfully, the last few years of college, I lived in a furnished apartment building. So I didn't have to buy a couch. I didn't have to buy a bed. They even gave us mattresses. So I don't have any any big item that I need to take up. Obviously, I do have a couple pots and pans that I love so much that I wanna bring up. I have my Nutribullet. I might bring up my Nespresso. There's a couple things, 
but I think I'll ship those things in a couple boxes and then suitcases all the way and then just just lots of shipping and suitcases I'll bring a couple suitcases on the plane with me obviously and I'm sure my mom or my dad are gonna come up with me so they can like bring suitcases too and then I'm just gonna ship everything and I really uh, I'm gonna have to buy a lot because I don't have any furniture to bring up with me and I'm also gonna have to buy like plates, cups, mugs, it's gonna be a lot uh, and I could buy it all down here and U-Haul it but since I don't even have a lot currently, why would we do that when we could just fly up and then maybe even rent a car? And I think there's like an Ikea outside of the city. Um, I'm hoping a Costco because I freaking love Costco. I think there is, I think I heard about that. Then I'll have to ship stuff obviously, but I can't even, the thing is there's furniture that I'm like eyeing right now that they're back ordered by a month. So I need to start thinking about ordering them, but I don't even have an address to send them to. So it's just this really weird thing. Moving to New York is a weird thing. There's lots of things that they don't tell you um that you just kind of have to figure out on your own and thankfully i've had brooke and some other friends that just moved there to kind of help me out but there's a lot what are you most excited for when living in new york city ever since i went to new york city for the first time when i was like 10 11 12 i knew i was going to live there one day like i stepped foot and i before i even visited for the first time i knew how much i loved it i love the culture i love the theater i love the arts i love the people i love the music i love just everything about it, the fashion, like it's just such an exciting place. And I feel like with New York City, you could be talking to someone in line at CVS and they're like this person or that person. Like there's so, you just meet the coolest people. And I just, every day I find out about someone new that I know that is living in New York and I had no idea. And it'll just be cool because New York's also a place that a lot of people visit. So I feel like I'll have friends that I haven't seen in a while that will be like, hey, I'm coming up to New York with my family for the weekend. I'd love to see you. And I think that'll be a really cool thing too. I can be people's New York tour guide. And I also feel like there's just always something to do every single day. You cannot be bored in New York City. There's so many parks. Again, like I'm so excited for Broadway theater to open up. I'm such a theater nerd. Just, there's just a lot there. And I feel like there's a lot of opportunities that I'm gonna get just from living in New York. So I'm really excited about that. It's not for everybody, but I love the hustle there. I love just walking around the people watching people you meet it's just i'm excited the food like it's gonna be great on the other side of the spectrum what are you most nervous about for moving to new york i think kind of what i just said i'm excited for i am a little nervous for in the sense of the hustle of it all um i've on the longest i've ever been to new york at a time was two weeks I've never lived there for a long period of time. I am really curious to see how I do after a couple months. Like if I'm sure I'll get into my routine and I'll find my relaxation. Like I'm really not worried about it. Athens was a little city in its own, but I do love just sitting out in my backyard or going to the beach. And I know I'll be able to go out, go out east into the Hamptons and travel and everything. But I am curious to see how I do with that constant rush because when I'm in New York, I, I feel like my truest self when I'm in New York, which is actually really crazy. I just feel so happy. I glow. I feel like it shows through in my vlogs and photos and I just feel like I can express my styles at the max and I just, I literally have so much fun and I have so many friends there and we have a little YouTube squad. Like it's just, I'm so excited. So here I am saying I'm nervous, but I'm also so excited. So I don't know. Are you prepared for the cold? <laughs> no, I'm not. Um, I know I like Ryan and I were talking, we were literally there in May and one night it was like really chilly. And I was like, Ryan, it's May right now. And like, it's not even that cold. Imagine when it's gonna be like January, February, it's gonna be freezing. I think what I just keep telling myself is we're gonna buy things and wear things that are for the cold. Like when you live in Florida and Georgia, you've got a puffer jacket, you have a beanie, but we don't invest in very warm clothes because it's like a very small window. So I feel like when I'm in New York, I'll, you know, gather all the data, figure out what's best to keep me warm. And the cool thing about New York is you go to restaurants, they all have coat racks, like there's coat rooms. So I feel like it'll be a lot easier to be warmer and it's a lot more normal. It's not like one person's wearing this huge down jacket and then the other person is just wearing a cardigan. Everyone will be on that same level. You'll know how to dress for the warmth. That's what I'm telling myself. So yeah, I think I'm gonna end it there. I think that kind of covers everything. If you guys have any more questions, leave them down below or I'll probably do another Q&A in about a month when I have some more info. But don't you guys worry, I'll be doing a series, a vlog series. I'll still be doing New York City Week in my life. 
all the vlogs will be the same. Sadly, no more college week in my life, but whatever. I actually am going to Athens next month to fully move out of my apartment, and Delaney and I are gonna make it a weekend, so I'll probably vlog that, because why not? So I'm going to Athens one more time. I can't help myself. I love you guys. I'm so, so excited to take you guys on this journey, this next chapter. It's, it's honestly scary, but so exciting, and I'm really thankful that I've been able to be home and just enjoy this time with my family. But yeah, if you're new here, subscribe, because it's a good time and uh, there's lots to come. So I love you all. Keep in touch on my social media and I'll see you guys next Wednesday for my next video. Bye.